people in what you're doing? Yes, that is the question I'm going to be doing. So the first thing we want to do is identify the angle what we're going to be solving for, which in this case is x. Then the next thing, I need to identify all my sides. So the first thing is identify the hypotenuse. That's the easiest. The next thing, identify the adjacent side, the side that's connected to your angle to the right angle. Then identify the opposite. Right? Yeah. So now we need to identify which trigonometric function are we going to be dealing with. And Zach, what do we have? So which trigonometric function are we going to be dealing with? Or first of all, what do we have? What, from this angle, what two sides do we have? I bought this. Now, do you remember which trigonometric function deals with the adjacent and the hypotenuse? There's only one. Cosine. So I'm going to say cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, remember theta represents our angle, right? Our angle is x. So I say cosine of x equals my adjacent side, which is 15, over 12. Now again, when we don't have the angle to undo the cosine, I need to say x equals cosine inverse of 15 over 12. Yes, you can reduce it if you'd like to, but it's not necessary when you plug it into your calculator. Is it 12 over 15 adjacent over hypotenuse? Thank you very much, Dennis. That's why I have you in my class. Uh -huh. oh, no, just to check ants, just to check <laughs> problems when he's wrong. So all I type in is I take the second cosine, and then I do 12 parentheses, 12 over 15. That's why I got stuck last time. Is I'm this old calculator. I didn't use parentheses. And therefore, I get x equals 36.87. We'll round to the hundredth in this class. And AJ, can you verify? Can you verify? And that's it.